club to be back by my heel. Okay. Okay. Um, I want to stay centered as I get to the top. Okay. I want this arm straight. Right? This elbow get ready to point me down. Right? I'm not really thinking about all of that in my swing. I'm really just focusing on keeping my head centered, right? Okay. And then when I come through, I think that's my problem. I don't think, I don't want to say holding the angle, but I feel like my weight is forward here. And okay. I'm now trying to get this happening, right? Like so that I'm really on fire, right? Okay. What fires? What fires? Um, this fires, I think. Okay. Right? Okay. You know, so. right. Okay, and anything at the finish? I'd like to finish. Mm. I don't want it wrapping around like that. Okay, good. Stacking tilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's hit a couple drivers. We are looking for draws. Well, I think so. Yeah. Like you know. Okay. Good. Little off the toe. Yes. Yep. Okay. Good morning. How are you? Doing? How are you? Good. Warm up, you kind of know the drill. Okay. Okay. All right, all right. So, just you want more distance, obviously. You're telling me there's more distance to be found. Okay. What's your target, by the way? My target right now? Well, I mean, towards those two bunches on the right side right there. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So, a few things going on. Okay, so the first thing is when you were aiming at those two bunkers, basically like the tall trees up there, your actual line was about the green flag. Wow. So it aimed a little bit to the right. Okay. So trying to get the ball to the left is actually a shot where the club cuts across yeah. the target line, the opposite of what they're trying to promote. Um, so I'm going to set this up. So the tallest tree just left of the red flag, that's going to be our target line. Okay. Okay, so here's our white stick representing our target line okay okay so what we have to try and get to with this um, with where you're going with it all is a little bit of an understanding of where we're trying to end up and then from there we're going to work backwards on what the pieces are going to take to first increase your speed okay. uh, second we're going to get make sure that the ball launches you know out to the right so the ball can draw right so we're going to work on your aim and, and delivery a little bit um, and like all those pieces with your direction and your speed getting into the finish so you kind of know where to go. You know where you're getting to. And I think that the piece in the finish that you're missing is the piece that gets them into that, that, that look, right? And it's, it's this. Well, yeah, and I think that, you know, a, a lot of us, and I'm in the same boat, we look at, hey, how does the club look relative to the arms? How does the, the body look, you know, how does the upper body look at the finish with the, with the club? Like, we're looking at all this stuff over here, when this is what's happening to give them the most power. It's, you know, like, you know, they're not, like, Mike's not the strongest guy, but he pounds his driver. Hits it really solid, it makes a really great sound, and just sends it out there to the right and curves it back to the left really gently. And so... His biggest power source not only is what you mentioned, trying to feel like you can get things down, right? Because that's, that's the big one with the upstairs stuff, trying to feel like the left arm pulls down and the right arm supports it by pushing down like this. But then from there, it has to be the legs standing up into the finish. And notice where my arms are here. My arms are pretty much in the same spot or the same look that they are here. So if I can get the arms to feel like they get fast this way, 
right? That's the arm speed. I don't want to take that arm speed and bring it around the corner. I don't want to bring that into the golf ball. Okay, so are you familiar with their positions? P1 through, you are, okay. So if we're able to feel as though that your speed is a delivery in the, of the club into P6 as hard as you can get it there, right? Not into seven. I'm not trying to make this like a catalyst of seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't want that, right? I want it to feel like we're just really chopping this thing down all the way into six as you try to feel like you get your body standing tall and forward. And what we're going to look for at the end of the swing is that you are turned, you're tall, and your arms are out in front of you. Turned, tall, and we're going to look for, you know, when they come through here, it's P7. P8 is the club even with the ground. I'm trying to get us to a point where our 8 and our 9 are the same because the arms are even, the club's long, and you got there because you went from this spot to stand to there. You know? Can you show me some practice swings? That works. Hey man, how are you? Good, man. Good. What are we working on today? Uh, you tell me. Okay. Put the driver away. <laughs> okay, so all the way through, hold your finish. Okay, hold it here. Okay, so my checkpoint in the finish is that the legs are long, so both knees are going to feel like they're straighter, and that we feel like, uh, okay, sort of, I uh, bring that one back in, because this one has to feel like it touches that one. Okay. I get a squeeze at the end. If you take a look at the PGA Tour logo, it makes it look like it only, they only have one leg and then the rest of the body's leaned back. So we get a lot of our extension in our upper body from the arms, right? If I do this with my arms all day, all of a sudden I feel like I'm doing this. So we get our extension from our arms blasting forward, but we get a lot more of it from, call it from the sticks down, trying to get tall and turned. So my thighs are touching. Right? My, this is where they say raise the belt. Right? Raise the belt. When you raise the belt the most, right? that gets you tall. It's like from here down I'm trying to get you tall. So when they start to do all their science stuff, they like to see like, hey, what are the feet doing in the swing? How are the feet making the body swing? All that fun stuff. Um, you, you're going to feel as though in your, in your motion that you get your transfer to the right foot and transfer to the left foot before the end of your backswing. One, two. So you're gonna be all the way at the top up here, but I want you to feel like you get a little bit of a rock to get there. Okay, so when you say, uh, you say you pressure into this side or actual weight? Like all your pressure. pressure. So, right, so. So you don't want, you don't want this, you just want, if I was like this, like, I feel now, all my, like I feel like if I lifted this off the ground, it just turned. Okay, so it's, it's pressure. So if this thing can represent like the middle of me right here, okay, I want to feel like I'm putting pressure into the ground to keep my weight forward. There, good. And your timing in, in your backswing feels like it's pushing into the ground on the right side all the way until you feel like you're at the top. Good, there you go. Okay, and then into your finish. Tall, okay, so we're trying to get tall, legs squeezed, all of that, with the arms still below the chin. One more time. Uh, let's do it over here where the ball is. Um, just maybe on this line, camera's on. Good, again. So remember, all of your club speed, all of your arm speed is only in this P6, not past it. Okay. Good. Okay. Let me see your driver. So if we feel as though with this, that what you're trying to do is just deliver the speed into here, and the rest of it brings you tall forward with the leg squeeze, you're going to notice that when you finish these, the, the club's going to be low. Whoops. The club's going to be low down here, right? If the arms are speeding up past the body, sorry, if the arms are speeding themselves past your stand and turn, right, getting into your body positions for P8 and 9, that's where I think that 
um, that's the one that's not going to be your best one. That's the one that's past you. Okay, so trying to feel like you can get from here, that the speed goes to here, and then you feel like it doesn't anymore. It's done. It's over. It's the turn and the stand that pulls the club to here. Fast to here, turn and stand to here. It's going so like it's, I'm it's doing it, to feel slower to what, start. What, what does it look like to you that's happening? Like, I feel like when I'm here, yeah. I'm just pulling my arms into the ground. Yeah, like that, right? yeah, yeah. And, and then I need them to hit the brakes. Yeah, and so they're not hitting the brakes. I think that's the piece. You're right. Your arms aren't hitting the brakes to allow the club to release itself, well, to catch up to the so handle. There's a drill, um, hit hard and stop fast. I yeah, think. that one. Great. Yeah, Terrific. Yeah. And so what you're trying to do, hit hard, stop fast, but you have to feel like your, your legs are tall and squeezed, like get into the body alignments for where the club's about to go. So if we're doing the hit hard and stop, the club gets over here to P9. Right. The, the alignments for your body at 9 are turned and square to your target. But if you get there this way, right, and we're low and we're short and we're bent and we're under-rotated, that club face has increased its rate of closure to the left. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. Shorter finish. Yeah. It's like I can't seem to stop the momentum. So if you can't stop, it's because you are still speeding up into the ball. So one more time, set up to it. Now if I did this, I want you to get your body square and forward, but keep your arms back. Don't let anything hit this club. No arms, no, no club to club. There. Better. Okay, another one. Okay. Same thing. Soften up a little bit. Don't squeeze your arms so hard. Release some tension. Hold it. Give me your arms. Bring, bring the arms down. Yeah, okay, stand tall. That's your finish right there. Okay, show me again. Yeah, but you have to feel like you stop over here in order for it to end up there. Closer. Yeah, I'm moving the club. You'd be hidden. It's hard to do. Keep your arms softer. Let your body getting into P9 lead your arm speed. Don't let your arms try and outrace things. Way different. I see. This time, what I did is, you know, I'm still a little, I, the other times I was swinging my arm. This time, I was rotating my body. You'd have to, right? Yeah, it's the yeah, only yeah, way to course. get the club back. Yeah, but, I, I but we lose it if we have any type of arm tension and extra squeeze in our upper body. That's when we lose the ability to get this to rotate forward. This wants to go past, yeah. right? So it's like soft arms to here and let your body lag your hands yeah. all the way into nine. Yeah. That's your key. And so I think that like practicing with the driver is going to be the first one. Um, and I think that like the keys are going to be like softer and smoother. Okay. If you hit one that's like bad, just okay, a little softer, a little smoother. Um, and then after that, get into blades okay um, after that I'd say get into like six irons and do the same thing off the ground with the six iron it'll feel like it's a punch shot I'm trying to feel like you're forward and tall but the club stays low to the ground okay, okay. Like pretty much yeah, yeah. Okay. not bad okay I'm gonna give you another way to look at this set up to your shot Go. Don't swing up. I'm just kidding. Just okay. Just pretend I'm there. Not bad. So the idea here is that we're trying to decelerate your arms into the golf ball. Okay? And by decelerating the arms, which makes everybody that I ever tell this to is like, you've got to be crazy. Like everybody tells me not to decelerate. Well, if I'm sitting on the hood of your car driving down the highway, I'm going 100 until you hit the brake, a decelerator, to make something else go faster. Right? Lacrosse is all about decelerations and accelerators. So, I think that's in my head every single day. Every day. Why am I, why am, if I try to move those pieces with my hand, 
I would never be able to do it. At the this strings point. don't have any muscle, that's right. right? They get out there with the ball because of this. Yes. And I, that's like in my head, for, I saw that in Karate Kid, yeah. that's been in my head for 20 years, every day. Um, so that's the idea, but you, but what you're doing in your move is you've got your arms from shoulder down to wrist really tense, yeah, and it's going around your body like this, yeah. right? Like I call that the wheelchair swing, because you might as well just sit in a chair and do okay. it. And I want you to feel as though that you're doing this one way, because your arm structure's fine, right? And then from there, get this the other way. And we're trying to feel like you can lag the balls around the string of that toy. Right? And I would say that like there's four, maybe five major areas of lag in our body. We have four or five different areas where we lag, where we accelerate, decelerate, we feel something else, right? And the one that golfers, most of them today, are going to miss is the one where the lead arm versus the body, it doesn't get whipped off. It doesn't get whipped off. It wants to be the puller right. instead of the one where it's like if someone were to hold my hand back here and not let me move, how much can I go before I get to pull my hand away? Not this way, right? And that's the one I think that, that you know you're missing. Golf, if I didn't make any music? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He says to me, when he looks at my swing, he goes, you're a puller. Yeah. And it's funny because, like, like, let's just talk about the pull from the left side. The left shoulder and the left arm pulling yeah. this way, that's like your worst golfer. But then if you just went down like six inches and had this part pull, that's the best golfer, right? So I want everything from like my rib cage down to pull toward the target. And it's going to lag from here all the way to here. So you can see that my chest is turning to the target, but my chest and my shoulders are never in the same alignment in the swim, right? I feel like my shoulders stay closed and my chest rips open. And if I can get into that, that's what gets me my power. So the short, the hard into the finish, decelerate the arms into impact to the point that they don't go past the ball, but they can go past the ball if you stand tall and forward. And let's see if we can get them like 180 high shots, high 180 yard draws just doing this little move. Yep, down. Yeah, it's, it's going to feel a lot more like it's the club head. Like if we have a table right here, you're trying to put the shaft on the table. Yeah, right there. Good. See how much more that came down yeah. from wrist leverage? There's more casting than you think. So up to the top. Good. And you're trying to smash it down on the table right there. And then once you feel like it smashes on this table, turn and stand. Okay. Cool. Another one? Closer, way closer. So the funny thing is that in order to send the ball this way, you have to feel like your arm speed goes that way as your body goes toward the target. So like arm speed in the opposite direction of the target is a weird thing to say, but it's kind of what you're feeling, I think. Yeah. Okay. And so this is where it gets fun. So take it up to the top for me. Hold it up there. Sometimes the chop feels like it's there. Sometimes the chop feels like it's there. Different people, different players. If you want more draw, you want orange. If you want a straighter ball, you want red. But I think that for what we're working on, trying to keep your arms back in the race, I prefer orange today. So the block of wood you're chopping is at the end of that orange stick back there. Well done. Had a different zip on it, didn't it? Okay, cool. So this is two motions off plane to put you on plane. Way to go. That's a pretty shot. It's a game changer.
I like it. It's done. It's over.